There's one more anti-pattern with respect to dealing with integer overflows that I want to talk about. And that is the idea of basically saying, oh, well, my 16-bit value is too small. I'll just move up to a 32-bit value. My 32-bit value is too small. I'll just move up to a 64-bit value. It's basically when you increase the size to the next highest size. Well, you know, this is not really fixing the issue at the end of the day. You're doing acid math and you're just trying to essentially hide the issue. So, you know, if this was our previous issue with a plus b as unsigned ints and we say, oh, well, there's an integer overflow, so I'm just going to go ahead and incree it to unsigned long long. Oh, wait, my a2i doesn't work anymore. Oh, I got to use string to unsigned long long. And uh, okay, I'll just update my, you know, printout to handle long longs as well. Obviously, this is not actually addressing the issue if the attacker can still control the input fully. So basically, in this scenario, the attacker is going to be able to provide 64-bit attacker-controlled inputs, and consequently, they can overflow just as well. So I know that it's tempting to do this, and I know that in some scenarios, it will actually be safe because you might have a truly strict guarantee that this is only going to be a 32-bit value. I'm thinking of, for instance, you know, TCP IP packets or something like that, where, you know, until you move up to a completely different protocol, the uh, fields might be fixed at 32 bits. But, you know, I really consider this to be the kind of thing where you're just hiding the problem. And if there is some situation where in the future the code could be changed and sizes could be increased, then those bugs will just, you know, magically appear again. So, you know, fix the problem using safe math rather than trying to hide the problem. So if I were to write some speculative fiction about this, it would be that this value is always at most 32 bits, the developer said to themselves. Five years later, the next developer needed 33 bits and changed the data type to 64-bit variable. The integer overflow bugs that had laid dormant underground like so many cicadas sprang back to life, ready to terrorize the population. Plot twist, based on a true story. The end? I don't know, that depends, that's up to you.